Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens. I am hanging out with my buddy. Anton Diaz. This is Anton. And we are in Manila, in the heart of Manila, in Quiapo. And we came here to eat Filipino street food. So we're gonna show you some of the most iconic Filipino street foods right in Quiapo Market. Along with the Quiapo Church, which you can visit, you can come here for a really interesting, unique market in Manila. There's lots of street food there. It's, it's like a flea market, an open air flea market where you can buy all sorts of things. And just even just walking around here and just observing the culture is, is very fascinating. So packed and there's so much going on. There's fruit, there's a lot of fresh ingredients as well. But then I'm also seeing a lot of dried fish, a lot of street food snacks, full of everything you can imagine and lots of street food tucked in every corner. Oh, look at all these dried fish. Tangon. Yes, please. It's called Tangon. So Tangon. The first street food we're gonna try is it they have a number of different like noodle looking dishes and I think this one is mung bean noodles and I'm not sure what else but some spices and it's made into kind of a a soupy dish this is <laughs> what is the name of this dish uh, sotanghon sotanghon soup it's so, a, so it's a glass noodle uh, okay. with egg and then uh, palabok, one of the popular Filipino pancita. We just got some front row seats. Awesome. Chef's table. Chef's table. Yes. Okay. There's an egg in here. There's the mung bean noodles. There are long beans. There's shallots. Oh, and there's some bits of meat in here too, Anton. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a little bit salty and a little bit kind of like oily. The broth is kind of oily. But then those noodles, they just kind of slide right down. You barely even need to chew them and they just slide. I'm going to dig into this egg. Oh, yeah. An egg makes everything better. Oh, yeah. You cannot eat this fast because it's so hot. Oh, that yolk is on fire. So now you can do some seasoning. So I'm going to squeeze in a calamansi. Give it a little bit of a, a citrusiness to it. And then also, oh, this is like fish sauce. Add in a little bit of fish sauce. Sprinkle in some pepper. This is really a slurping. Oh, that almost slurped right out of my mouth. This is really a, a dish you've got to slurp. Just been given some some rice cakes, and these are like I think they're steamed rice cakes. Break a piece of this, and they said that it should be eaten along with the the soup. It's a little bit sweet and very very spongy, and a little bit sour as well. <laughs> this little street food stall is so tight that we had to set up the camera what the across the food <laughs> from us. So then Anton and I got front row. These are the best seats in the whole in the whole street food stall. And we we just finished with our bowl of the glass noodles, and now we've got another dish. Yeah. What's this dish? This called? is a palabok. Palabok. Yeah. And anato uh, achuete, right? Yes. Achuete corn style. Top with uh, tofu. Pinapa. Chicharron. Chicharron. Chicharron, okay. Uh, before you eat it, you have to squeeze on some calamansi. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Then you also eat it with puto. With okay. Your rice cake. Oh, this is a great atmosphere. <laughs> awesome place. <laughs> And then the key to this dish is you've got to fully mix it all with the sauce, with the noodles, with all those toppings. 
a chicharron in there, and there's minced meat I think in here as well. Yeah, and tinapa, which is fish. Oh, and, and fish tofu. also, and tofu. And tofu. So there's a lot of ingredients in this little plate of food. You gotta eat it fast before it all slides off your fork. Oh, that's my favorite. That's <laughs> awesome, man. It's kind of like goopy. But then you've got what I can really taste is the the fried garlic in there. Mm. Mm. The fried garlic is really nice in there, and it's like goopy and sticky. And this is just a wonderful street food, Filipino street food. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sarap. You say salamat. Salamat. Okay, that was absolutely awesome. And you just cannot get a better street food environment than that. This is a market where you can come to really get a feel of the real Manila. It really feels like you're in the heart of Manila here. The action. Every there's so many things for sale, and people are really friendly at this market as well. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's a great place when you're in Manila. Th this is a place you want to come explore if you want to really feel the the culture of Manila. It's very busy today. Is it like this every day? Oh, okay, it's like this every day. This is a super human traffic jam. All right, we made it through that intersection. One of the iconic places here is the Quiapo Church. Okay, and we're standing right next yeah. to Quiapo Church right yeah. now. Yes, and uh, it's home to the Black Nazarene, which is very miraculous. Okay. You know, uh, people believe if you pray to if you have a devotion to the Black Nazareth, it creates mir miracles in your life. Wow, that's awesome. When we were growing up as a child, so fishball and fishball carts. Are they all fishballs or are there chicken no, balls? No, this as well? is fishball, squid ball, and what you call kikyam, like oh. a Chinese. All mixed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you just get. We're standing right in front of the church, so it's a little loud. I hope you can hear me. And so, Anna, you just grab a stick yourself. You grab a skewer. And then you just poke whatever you want. Yes, but uh, you get the toasted ones. Usually oh, okay. the, the brown ones. You want the brown ones because those are more crispy. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you then just choose as many as you want. Choose as many. On a stick. Yeah. Uh, you can then, put it here. Yeah. You, you just choose as many as you want on a stick. And then you add the sauce. Yes. Okay. You can, uh, now it's modern. You have to put it. You can put it in a cup. Oh, you got, oh you put, they have a fork here to put it on? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's awesome! Come on! Alright! Then you stick it in the cup? Yeah, you put it in the cup and then uh, you put... Uh, and then you move over to the, the sauce station where you sauce add in your own bar, yeah. sauce into the cup. Yeah, Filipino food is known for sauces. And lots of vinegar lots as well, Lots of yeah? vinegar, lots of sauce. Yeah. So you can add, you know, with onions, with chili. Yeah. Cool. And so you usually have a cup so that people don't double dip. So you create your own sauce. I think this is my favorite sauce here. And you take the, the spoon. Oh yeah, that looks good. Do I need more or is that good? Yeah, just put more. Okay. Add some more vinegar. Alright, and then... And add some more sauce? Yeah, this is uh, I'll just go with vinegar. Let it absorb all of that vinegar and those onions and those, um, those chilies. Grab some of those chilies. All right, I got three different types of fish balls here. Oh, it's still pretty hot. 
it's kind of it kind of has a gooey texture. The vinegar makes is what really makes it good. The vinegar and those those onions and chilies. Oh, look at that bite. They're like party fish balls. This is our childhood favorite. <laughs> Brings back childhood memories. You know, and uh, I, having mass and then after okay. mass, yeah. <clears throat> and I love the the culture of just standing here around the cart oh. eating. It's so atmospheric and so much fun. Anton was just talking to the owner of this street food stall and he actually said that they are chicken balls. Yeah, so. because they like it bigger and oh, it's so two they, pesos. Usually. Two pesos per ball per that ball, we just yeah. ate. Okay. It's, so it's more profitable. <laughs> and it's ah, okay. The fish balls are smaller and like one peso or less. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, so they're actually chicken balls here. And then right next door to the chicken ball stand is a dried squid stand. And this looks delicious. I smelled it and I knew that's what we need to eat next. These are just the, the squid bodies. And then I'm also going to get And those are the squid heads. So those are just going to grill. Those, they're going to toast over the hot coals really fast. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> With chili. Chili. It's so good. Okay. Tastes so good. Yeah. Only here in the Philippines. Yeah. You need to get a lot of onions on there. Is it onions or shallots? Onions, no? And what you can do is you can try to scoop up as much onions and chilies and vinegar as you can on top of your, yeah. your squid. <laughs> All right, man. All right. <laughs> I was trying not to do that. <laughs> They're really tight. They're really tight on the skewer. So if you pull too hard, all the onions come flying off. That's what happens. <laughs> oh, that's amazing though. Oh, that's delicious. It's like, yeah, it's salty dried squid. It has a little bit of a, a crispiness to it. And then, hello. Hi. But I love it with that vinegar and those onions. That's delicious. That is a wonderful Filipino street food. Wait, you have to go because of the oh. mess. You have to dip this. Okay. What's your name? Uh, you want to try? Gotcha. No, you can eat. But this is yours. You can have an anok. No, just eat. That's a pretty guy. Anok. Anok, Patrick. My name is Mark. Patrick. 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 Nice to meet you. Salamat naman kayo. Thank you, Mama. Bye bye. Uh, Kiapo Market. There's yeah, two Kiapo. sides, right? Yeah, yeah. One Kiapo is Market. one is by the church, by the surrounding church. the church. Yes. And one is around here. So we just yeah, we just crossed over the street. This is called Kiapo. Yeah. This one. Hello. Asa yung kuya? Pani balut sa? Dalawa. Asa yung kuya? Oh, so you pick and choose? Oh, you get bowls. Oh, okay. We are at the next street food stall and here we're going to eat quick quick which are it's one of the most famous of all Filipino street foods. Yeah. It's quail egg, quail egg with okay. uh, flour and food coloring. The quick quick is ready. Thank you. And then you add your own sauce. Thank you. These are one day old chickens and she deep fried them and then she put it on top of our quick quick which are the quail eggs, eggs with, flour. with flour batter deep fried around it. And so then you move over here to the, the sauce condiment, yeah. condiment so, station. Uh, Gotta go in for some onions. And also a lot of that chili. Oh yeah, one day old with some good chili on it. And then I think I'll just go straight for the vinegar next. You can never have too much vinegar on a one day old.
One bite lang ate, di ba? Asa yung kuya, peno yung pano? Ate, pano kina kain to? One bite lang. Asa yung kuya, peno yung? Okay. It's so good. It's bony. It's crispy. It's like meaty. It's rubbery. Yeah. Next up for the quick, quick, which are quail eggs in the batter. And I think you can one bite this as well. Asa yung kuya, peno yung balot sa to kuya. Asa yung kuya, peno yung balot. That is a big mouthful, but you've got the really creamy egg yolk in the tender, and then it's like crispy and very fluffy batter on the outside. All right, so we are moving on to the next street food. So this is four takeaways. Basketball is the favorite sport in the Philippines, so you'll just walk around and in the neighborhoods and in basically in any spare place throughout Manila, you'll see little basketball courts. So this is just in the neighborhood. What's up, man? Hi. Brother. Watch out. Brother. Brother. Watch out, watch out. These are duck eggs, right? Yes. Duck eggs. Anton and I still have not eaten the most famous, or maybe it's the most infamous Filipino street food, and that is balut. And balut is a a duck egg, which is partly fertilized. It's an embryo. Yeah, and usually it's 16, 18 days. Uh, oh, okay. This one are 18 day old. Okay, so they have they have different stages of the duck egg. You can get one that's eight days, or you can get one that's six, 12 days, or 16 days. 18, or 18, 18 days. days. So, so you said these are 18 days. Yeah, if it's 18 days, just imagine you would see the the chicken developed already. In uh, a more sense. developed chicken. Yeah, with beak. I <laughs> know, oh, more, more developed duck. Feathers yeah. and okay, more developed duck. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so he said he has 18-day-old balut, and that's what we're ordering right now. Here's the balut. Oh, it's nice and hot. This is a steamer, so the eggs are kept nice and hot. And this is a pretty good-sized egg. Check that out. That's a that's a fistful, and it's very nice and warm. Yeah, 18 Crack this side? Uh, this one, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Right. So the pointed one. Oh, the pointed goes down. No, it's pretty even. <laughs> oh, this yeah, is yeah, this one is pretty even. But they know. <laughs> okay, okay. So then you crack it, and then kind of peel back a little bit of that. There should be some soup in here, right? Yeah. One of the best things about eating balut in the Philippines is that there are many different components all in a single shell. So first, you've got to drink the soup. There's some natural, natural juices and soup inside of the shell, so you drink that first. Alright. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> oh, that's just like, that's just like concentrated chicken soup. Yeah, it's chicken soup. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's like Very the purest, strong. the purest of all chicken soup because there's no added anything. It's just straight from the shell. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can now see. You can start to see the the embryo in there. Hi. The hairs. Oh, the hairs. Oh, some juices. All right. There we go. Yeah, you can see those feathers. Wow. <laughs> you can definitely see those feathers now. Okay, I'm gonna add some salt. Yes. And vinegar. Chili vinegar. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna season my balut next. So add a little bit of salt. A little bit. A little bit. Add a little bit of salt on there. And then also I want to get some chili vinegar, which is my, yeah, this is my, my seasoning, my condiment of choice in the Philippines. Oh yeah, seasoned that with some good vinegar. Yeah. You can definitely see all of the feathers, all of the feathers on this balut. That is 18 days old. Okay, I'm gonna go in for the, the chick since it's on the top here. Oh, I think that is a, a chicken foot right there. 
see that? Uh, yeah. Alright. Mm. Those are definitely feathers. There's no denying that in your mouth. But they are kind of like kind of like slimy feathers. With a very strong poultry flavor. Uh, a very strong like duck. Actually, I taste more of a chicken flavor than a duck flavor. That's the best part. That's a giant yolk. Wow. Oh, that's so yummy. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Anton, check that yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Oh, that yolk is gigantic. I think I'm gonna add a little more of the, the chili vinegar on this bite. You can never have enough chili vinegar in the Philippines. When you're eating Filipino street food, that is the, one of the ultimate flavors. Oh yeah. That's the best part. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, it's just like so creamy, but it tastes almost like a, like it's whipped a little bit. Really creamy and fluffy. And then at the bottom of your balut, you have this like rock hard, what is it? It's the white part. That's the white that's undeveloped. Uh, yeah. It's the white part of the egg that is undeveloped and it's like rock hard, so you don't eat that. That was delicious. <laughs> I'm not saying that balut is something I would crave all the time, but I think it's, 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 it's actually tastes pretty good and it is, quite fun to eat as well. It's like it's it's like the ultimate hard-boiled duck egg that you could possibly have. Within a shell you have all the different components and all the different textures and tastes and it's so pure. You know it's all just in a single shell. When you come to the Philippines, balut is something if you if you're up for an adventure, you got to try balut and yeah, I think it's pretty delicious actually. We have come to the end of this Filipino street food tour in Quiapo, Manila. Yes. Go check out Anton. Yeah, He's I'm our awesome planet. Yeah, yeah. In, he has a in blog. YouTube, uh, our awesome planet originals. Yeah. And I'll leave his links in the description box below. He's also making videos on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, and he's just a cool guy. Yes. And we've been, we've been great eating friends for many years for now. Many years. So and I want to say a big thanks to you to Anton for taking you. me around. Thank you, Mark, for being Man. really uh, <laughs> cool about eating all the street food. That was a lot of fun. Yes, it is. And thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up, click like on this video. And also, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from Quiapo in Manila. Thank you for watching. All right.